Hi guys, welcome to another taming video. Um, I just walked back into UO recently and the developers came out with codexes for weapons. Um, so I took an old pet team, uh, the one I usually use on live, uh, four blood hunters and a giant sand roach. Um, I've used them before with my testing with arms lore, without arms lore, all different tamer builds. Um, today's build, I'm going to be using Fencing, Healing, Resist, and Tactics, the build that I use on the live server. And it is uh, PvP focused, but it's very defensive in PvM, works very well at bosses and general farming. Um, I have tier 12 water that helps with the weapon special hits, and for the codex, I have, um, all the stances here, you can unlock them on the test server and test them out. Today I'm going to be using the aggressive stance, which is 3% uh, weapon speed for each level. So 15 plus percent uh, for speed. And then it makes you take 2% more damage per level 2, which doesn't really matter because you're not tanking as the tamer. Um, your roach is tanking. So 10% extra damage is not a big deal from AoE, especially when you have resist. Um, there are two finishers here. I'm going to be using Flurry, which increases speed by 25% for 20 seconds when it goes off. Um, it's proven to be very, very good for um, this uh, Fencer Tamer build. Um, I have ran this test a few times on my own, uh, but I wanted to record a video to show kind of what a codex does for you. Uh, the DPS that I was trying to beat initially was my um, water fencer tamer with 80 arms lore and 100 tactics. Um, I've also ran arms lore and herding. Um, in the past, and the DPS for the Arms Lore Tactics was 64, and then Arms Lore Herding, I believe it was about 70, uh, a little bit higher than 70. But um, on my test runs, I got 72 DPS, like 70 to 72 with the Codex and on this tanky build. So codexes are extremely powerful um, for tamers as well as the dexers. So I recommend getting one um, to match your weapon and just having fun with it, leveling it up. All right, so we're going to Pulma. That's my usual place to test. And then I have an exceptional um, war fork here as usual. All right, here we go. That'll make me fall behind by a second or two here. That's okay. I'll make up for it, hopefully. So the only variance that um, I've kind of gotten in my tests recently on my other runs is um, my proc damage. So my special for the weapon proc didn't happen in one of my tests altogether. And I got about 66 DPS, and then when I procced five times um, in one run, I got 75 DPS. So I kind of took the average, it comes around 70 DPS on average, for this dungeon in particular. Still very high though without arm floor, very excited about it. The nice thing about the finisher for the fencing weapon is that it lasts for 20 seconds. So if you're fighting one mob and uh, your finisher goes off at the very end when it's about to die, because finishers, they pop up um, or they activate when the mob is at 33% health or lower. Uh, so then you kill it pretty fast and you move on to the next mob. 
So your finisher basically helps you out for the next job. So you can call it finisher slash starter. fast you're going. It's 25% plus uh, speed. See how much it helps out with the first mob you hit afterwards. It kind of starts a chain reaction. You kill the mob, you get another finisher, use it on the next mob. Very good. Um, so I do not loot on my runs, I just get the same mods each time, but in general, I have about, um, let's try that. I have about 1,500, uh, gold in the end, 1,500, 1,600. Yeah, I really, I really like this finisher. Of course, uh, the other finishers are great too. Um, I'm sure, like for a macer or archer, um, swords person, those finishers are great on a pure text build. Or like your, um, what is it? Like the bard would be great, of course, with macing skill. Just gets a little power up. So far, I've tested out um, with the same codex. I've tested out the blood apes and the husk crabs as well. And the husk crabs were pretty good. Um, they got around 60 DPS overall, and well, maybe a little bit more. I think it was around 60, maybe 63. And the blood apes were 70 DPS overall. And that was with arm floor and tactics. Right. I'll play it on fight operator here. Nice to actually get some procs, especially on the demons. That's kind of where you want them. So, uh, we're gonna suffer here a lot with that. Hopefully not. Not that that was working. Oh well, he died. That'll cut our DPS down a little bit, but I'll try to get him back as soon as possible. Here. That happens sometimes. Gotta get him healed. Crazy amounts of AoE on that guy. Alright, back in business. So 
that will hurt the DPS a bit. Um, we seem to be in good standing. This is three, that's not so bad. This run is pretty clumsy for my normal, but it's okay. Still got the idea that codex are kind of class. Hopefully there is a bit of AoE here. Good. Speed up your uh, hunters a bit. I do like the uh, fencing codex too with the speed increase mixed with pets that also get speed increases from their abilities. I think they just all work very well together. Kind of insane. So when I tested um, not on the test server, that's kind of what was happening. I was hitting the finisher at the end of almost every mob and then proccing quite a bit. Okay, and that was my last mob, so then I just run to the finish. Okay, and then I press stop. We're all good. But yeah, um, when I was running earlier, I actually finished uh, the run in 8 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, so significantly faster than I just did now. And of course, there's variance in every run, but this is this is really good. Um, 70 DPS, like I said, that that was the average that I ran before. Um, if there are no special procs, it's about 66, and with multiple procs, like five or uh, four or five, typically the DPS jumps about three or four points. But yeah, um, that's the power of the codex. I recommend everyone get one and start it even as a dex tamer you'd think that it you know wouldn't make a big difference because you don't have a lot of damage um, coming from your user but yeah it, it does help pets quite a bit um, with their accuracy when you hit more weapon procs um, but yeah I really really liked the codexes I think it was a great idea um, I'll probably come out with some videos too showing archery and macing swords possibly with different pets, um, but that's not a guarantee. I have tried them out and I'm not as excited about them as I was with fencing. Archery would be the next one that I would try, but I don't think I'd recommend macing um, unless you're uh, PvP focused. It's not the best for PvM. Um, but I have recommended, I think I've recommended macing in the past if you're using bigger pets. Because bigger pets don't really benefit from fencing procs as much as smaller pets do. So then you'd want to increase your user damage rather than focusing on pet damage. Um, cool. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope this was helpful. Have a great night.